one thing that um, we see around the world that um, Bangladesh genocide is not only uh, the only genocide in the world. There were genocide in Rwanda. There were genocide in other countries. Uh, Holocaust. Uh, we all know about Holocaust. But I understand that there has been some difficulty uh, in terms of recognizing the genocide in Bangladesh. The, in terms of scale, it's almost like half of the people that were killed during the Holocaust. You know, we understand that about six million people were killed during the Holocaust. And in Bangladesh, in just in nine months, we lost about three million people. So uh, what are the barriers towards getting the recognition from the international community um, in order for us to uh, getting recognized as a, as a genocide? Well, during the last century, we have seen series of, you know, killing, genocide from Mexico to, you know, Darfur. There were hundreds of genocide, war crimes, crimes against humanities were being perpetrated. But who perpetrated this type of crimes? The countries who are responsible for genocides, they are very powerful countries. Take for the account the Armenian genocide. That was the mm -hmm. first genocide observed in the last century. That was committed by Turkey. Mm -hmm. And Turkey is a very powerful country. Bangladesh genocide, it was mainly perpetrated by the Pakistan army. Pakistan is a very powerful country mm -hmm. in terms of U.S. governments or the Western, uh, this war on terror. Pakistan is a major partner on their war on terror policy. So to appease Pakistan or country like Turkey or other, you know, even USA. USA is also responsible for committing genocide in Vietnam and some other countries in Latin America. But it is not possible for to try the U.S. government Though, you know, in Europe we have seen a number of, you know, symbolic initiatives were taken mm -hmm. for the trial of the uh, perpetrators of, you know, genocide committed in Vietnam, which was led by, initiative was taken, it was led by, you know, Jampal Satra and Burton Russell in the 60s. Mm -hmm. So that was something very interesting thing, that the mainly those who are powerful, they got, they get impunity. But who are lesser, you know, a country of lesser power, they are being tried for the trial, you know, criminals of Rwanda or the criminals in Cambodia, Cambodia or in Bosnia. Mm -hmm. So they, these are the small countries, you know, the Serbians, you know, Serbia is a small country, Rwanda is a small country, but Cambodia is a small country. So you can try the international community supports the United Nations and others. They support this kind of trials. But Bangladesh genocide, well, the Pakistan is there. Most of the Muslim countries that were now belong to YC, they were supporting Pakistan in those days, mm -hmm. including at that time the government of United States also supported yes. Pakistan. But we have seen in this country the common people, the media by and large, they supported Bangladesh cause and they were very much critical of uh, this genocide perpetrated by Pakistan army, they asked US government not to support Pakistan at that time. Mm -hmm. So that was a complex situation for the trial of, uh, you know, perpetrators of genocide in Bangladesh. Most of the Western powers at that time, they were siding with, United, uh, with Pakistan. Mm -hmm. Only, you know, we have friends in the socialist camp. We have friends like India, Nepal or Bhutan, some small countries in our neighborhood. But it was India, definitely. They condemned the genocide, they supported the victims, they have provided shelter to the victims. One, 10 million refugees, you know, at that time took shelter in India. And for the two of the nine months, they fed them and they created a kind of opinion, international opinion, to, you know, stop the genocide and to press Pakistan not to go further and to uh, release Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, who was in the prison at that time. So, because of this situation, you know, since the Western, the major uh, all powers, decided with Pakistan army. Mm -hmm. So that's why it, it became very difficult very for us to try the perpetrators of Bangladesh genocide. And that's why, you know, we are seeking for justice, not only for the, in regard of trial, but as well as the recognition of genocide is very important. What I mentioned about Professor Ben Kiernan, he wrote a wonderful book, you know, that known as History of Genocide from Esparta to Darfur. 
there he also mentioned the genocide of uh, the recognition of genocide is important because if you recognize the genocide then you will go for the trial trial mm -hmm. of the perpetrators of genocide and if you do not recognize the genocide at all there is no reason for the trial of the perpetrators so first you have to recognize there was a genocide in bangladesh there was genocide in Armenia, there was genocide in Mexico, Vietnam, Cambodia, Congo, and many, many countries. Mm -hmm. You know, as I mentioned that during the last century, there are more than 100 genocides where more than 100,000 people have been killed. So recognition of genocide is very important. So Western government, the people, as well as the government, civil society, as well as the political parties, they must understand that if you want to uh, stop this problematic war or genocide, you have to try the perpetrators of these crimes, war crimes, and the perpetrators of genocide. Otherwise, this type of crimes, this type of you know, genocide will repeat again and again.